Hello, welcome to Audio Energy. It's Shannon back again. And uh, look, I do apologise. I haven't been getting things up lately. Uh, it's been really busy here trying to help some family transition to uh, another city, but it's not quite working the way they'd hoped. Um, so there's a lot of changes going on and we've got family staying here. So um, it kind of um, makes it difficult for me to balance everyone out, but I'm doing my best. Um, as far as the um, piano videos I'm looking at, uh, I need to get some equipment I'm going to look at, but I am onto it. I will be looking at that as soon as possible. Um, but for today, we're just going to do another review. We're going to do a Waves review on Waves um, audio applications and plugins. So why don't we get to it and let's check it out. Cheers. Okay, so we are here uh, looking at the Waves uh, website. Uh, there's a whole lot of products here. You've got the you know, products, downloads, learn, artists, uh, support, specials, all that sort of thing. Uh, great menu, really easy to work with. Um, you can find a whole lot of different things. Also down the bottom here it has a little web uh, waves chat thing. So you can actually jump online and talk to people and um, ask questions and things like that. Um, one fantastic thing about Waves is that they're always having great sales. They're always doing big reductions on some of their plugins, so well worth looking at. Um, you can go to the Specials tab here, and we'll look at that very shortly. But at the moment, I want to have, show you one pack that I got, um, and I got this um, for $99 because it was on Special. Um, this is a great little pack for any sort of engineer and if you're looking at. Uh, you get a compressor, a DSer, uh, a doubler. And they, they actually get a couple of them in there. Uh, you get uh, the Convolution Reverb, the Ultra Maximizer, uh, the Q10 Equalizer, you get the Renaissance Axe, the Stereo Imager. This one's really good, and I'll show you how that works later. Um, Super Tap, that's kind of like a um, delay. Uh, and you get True Verb as well. So you've got two different types of verb, reverb here. Um, great little peck. You can have a look at their specs and it shows you everything for, that you need for Windows or Mac. Um, and you can find other popular links down the bottom. You can subscribe to them here. But we're interested in what they actually have. So you can also go over to videos and you can have a look at the different types of videos that they have about all the packages um, that you're purchasing. So they'll have a couple of videos on each one. They also have videos on each individual product. So I'm going to go here and we're looking at uh, plugins and bundles and you got sound grid systems, you got mix rack uh, mixes and racks, digigrid, um, new products and things that they're, they're reviewing and they're doing it, they're always putting out a lot, a lot. Um, they do some great stuff. You've got hardware that you can get as well, courses, uh, you can look at live sound, wave certification, you can do their training program. Um, they look at uh, mixers, desks and setups for churches and things because that's actually a pretty big industry there. Um, consumer electronics and things like that as well. Uh, each little section has its own sort of bay that you can go and have a look at all their, their uh, materials and things. With the downloads, this is probably one area I think they've kind of had a little bit of trouble with in the past which is getting their, um, their online sort of connected service to your desktop. And I'll just show you that quickly. Now that we're doing this, I'll just put this down here. Uh, Waves Central. So you get a little tab, you can download, when you buy a Waves product, you, they encourage you to download this because it's pretty much the only way you can download it. Uh, and you can install their application. So we're gonna open this. Yeah, I wanna run that. And it'll probably ask me to sign in, but I'm not gonna do that yet. Okay, uh, manage licenses. I'm just going to click this away for a minute. Okay, it's not going to let me do it. Wants me to sign in, and I do sign in, but I'm just not going to do it right now. But as you see here, uh, you can go on my license cloud, or you can have your licenses on a USB, or you can put them on your computer. Um, then it opens up, and um, you can choose which ones you want to install, and you'll have an install list here and you can send your license to the cloud, um, a USB, or keep them on your computer. Okay, so that's kind of like the, the user device there. And it'll also show you this list here, and you can send licenses away and move, shift them around, but you have to make sure that your licenses are active over here, 
um, and then they'll show up and then you can install them. Now they're, they're all constantly working on this. Uh, a lot of different companies have this kind of uh, device now. I'll just shut this down. Just wanted to show you that quickly. A lot of uh, companies, as you can probably see here, like Team Tracks has theirs. This is I've found out of all of them, Team Tracks is the best one. Uh, Waves I've always had a little bit of trouble with, and then all of a sudden it works great. Um, let's see, we've got Complete. They're a pretty good service. Um, what else do we have? I think there's one for Slate as well, which is the the Super G here. Um, so they all have Avid has one as well, and they're, most of them are pretty good. The Waves I have had a little bit of trouble with in the past. Um, they have some older versions here as well, okay, so it's worth looking at them. Now, I'm just going to go over to Specials for a minute. And this is usually, if you're actually subscribed to their uh, the website and the newsletter, they're always going to be sending you updates and um, big sales. And like I said, they do really big sales. So if you have a look at this one, it's regularly $600. Uh, it's now on sale for $300. Yeah, so that's 50% off. That's massive. And if you, I've done this one here. Uh, where is it? 30% off the second plug-in, 35 off the fourth. 40% off the fourth and all other ones after that. So if you buy uh, if you buy five or seven, um, you can get 40% off the fourth one. Now a clever way to do this is actually get a couple of individual little plugins that you want that might be on special. So the first one you pay full price, the second one you pay 30% off, the third one you pay 35% off, and then you put your package. If you want to buy a package that's say um, like the power pack before, normally $200, you can put that in, you get 40% off. Just make sure it's listed sort of, when you purchase them, listed at the bottom. So the more expensive ones are at the bottom, you get the bigger discount. It does actually work that way. Um, I've done it before. Um, but the thing is, I don't mind you doing that because you're spending more money. Um, but these products are really great. Now, some of these products are also being updated, and the one thing about Waves products is that basically... Um, you know, a lot of these are new and they're looking great and the ships there. Um, they're actually starting to updo a lot of the the interfaces that that you have and that the plug in ones like the Greg Wells voice centric. They're a lot nicer now, they're they're making them a lot more colourful, uh, a lot more interesting, um, a lot more appealing to the user, they're putting a lot more polish on it and things like that. Um, these one knob series are pretty big, they're a pretty good price if you can get them cheap. Whereas before, some of the older products looked very outdated, you know, and like these ones here, you know, very outdated, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but they work well, you know, they work pretty well. Um, so Waves 2 is, you know, they're good plugins for um, uh, if you're a new engineer, new young engineer, and you're starting to learn to get to use to um, uh, plugins and, and things like that. If you're learning to get used to certain tools like compressors and um, expanders and um, uh, oh, just whatever they have, you know, Transax, these sorts of ones here. You can see that they're a little bit old, but they're quite simple to use. Um, some of the new ones are a lot better and they're, they're getting nicer as they go on. However, waves are good. You know, they are good. I think there's some other ones that are a little bit better, but waves are really good for their engineering tools, you know, compressors and things. Uh, they've got a lot of variety on the different types of um, uh, tools that you can have that pretty much cover everything you can think of. Uh, everything from summing to one voice knobs for vo uh, vocals, um, uh, signature compressors, um, old style, uh, like the red, based on old, um, uh, what do you call them, desks and consoles and things like that. Um, very good, and they got some, as you can see, they got some great prices like two forty nine down to eighty nine, two fifty down to uh, fifty. Well, look, there you go, look at that, three fifty down to fifty for that compressor. It's a signature compressor. You've got DBX one sixty limiter compressor. That's uh, fifty nine bucks. Great bargain. See, they're really good. This one, look at this, uh, ninety nine dollars. That's fifty percent off. That's the Waves uh, tune. Now. That's one of the ones I bought. I have an older version of this one that they have, and it works a little bit like Melodyne. And if you're not sure what Melodyne is, it's um, it's basically voice and pitch correction, um, auto tune kind of stuff. And I'm, I don't use auto tune. Pitch correction, waves tune, is actually uh, manual pitch correction. Um, I wouldn't call it uh, auto pitcher, you know, because it's it's really not. You have to manually change everything and do everything. 
Um, when you do that, you have to get waves rewire as well. And a lot of your doors will um, be configured for rewire software um, and plugins and things, and uh, Pro Tools is as well. Uh, if you're not sure what rewire is, it's kind of um, a software that allows pitch correction stuff to, to pitch correct, and you can manually change it. And it basically reads that wave or that signal um, and prints it out and puts it almost kind of like in a, uh, a little bit of a MIDI format, if you could say that. So it's rechanging and reconforming the, the audio, and so you can actually move that around. Um, and it's really good. It's really good. I'll, I will show you shortly um, some of the uh, plugins that I have from Waves. Uh, so we're going to go here. We're going to get a look at Artists. And this is their signature series work that they've been doing. They have a lot of artists that they work with, from musicians to um, engineers, uh, recording artists, um, mainly engineers and stuff, because you know, there's a producer, musician, songwriter, uh, front of house engineer, live mixing engineer, front of house. It's, it's, uh, they've got some of the popular guys too, like Chris Lord Augie and um, uh, just everybody you can think of, you know? So they, look at the seven pages of, of all their signature people. Um, and that's why Waves does have a big advantage because they're working with a lot of these people. Uh, Andrew Sheps is as another fella. Um, you know, Waves works with these guys and they're getting a lot of their modeling from these top artists and, and, and top performers and top engineers. Uh, and they're able to really uh, conform their plugins um, to what the, the big guys are working on. So, really good, uh, great models. Uh, I, I've, I've found them uh, very useful. Uh, there's a couple of ones that I always use of Waves, and I'll show you them shortly. So, that's a lot of that there. You create an account, you can log in, all that sort of thing, put your shopping cart. Um, it is pretty simple to purchase your products on Waves. Um, I've never really had too much trouble, uh, except for probably downloading and things like that sometimes. Uh, but I've actually gone up to um, more of a broadband based um, internet service now so it's working a lot better, a lot quicker and um, that's basically Wave's website for you that I can show you there so we're going to go quickly now and have a, just see what time is, 12 minutes okay so here is um, just a, a session I made um, called Wave's Demo uh, in Pro Tools, and I've just listed a couple of ones here. Here is the compressor, okay, just general compressor uh, with a gate, okay, so you can organize all your settings there and play around with it, do whatever you like. Yeah, here's your um, gate and expander here, you can actually draw them apart and begin to uh, shape how that's going to work. Yeah. Uh, let's see, there is a way that normally bends down, but I don't use this one a lot. Um, I do sometimes. You also have your roll-off frequencies and things like that, and your shapes, you know, band pass, high pass, all that sort of stuff, your frequencies that you're working with. You have your cue, uh, look ahead. Basically what that does, it's always um, sending a bit of extra power to the processor, so it's considering what's coming up next in the next few seconds, or probably even fractions of a second, um, and it's already anticipating the movement of the song as it arrives. I have a side chain element as well that's pretty cool. Um, and so there you go, that's the compressor gate. It's one of them anyway. What I can do is show you this. Um, I'm actually, this is a stereo channel and this is this one here is a mono. So if I flick them over, um, I'll just put them all onto stereo because there was a few I wanted to show you. Uh, but there are a lot of mono elements here as well. So here's EQ, here's all your, um, so these ones here, Q1 to Q8, okay. Uh, if we go to dynamics, uh, should show you there anything with C okay these are all the waves waves tools uh, the L1 limiter as well uh, what else we got there I think these ones oh there's my Renaissance axe there it is so it's a I think that's a compressor one as well it's good for guitars um, and we'll just go back so like this scene the next one is one of the EQs you get quite a few EQs in this, which is good. Um, you got the EQ1 band, uh, there's a 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Um, really good ones there. And you know, you get a lot of movement out of it. Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty good EQs. You know, I actually, funny enough, tend to use these EQs 
Waves EQ is more in when I'm using Ableton than when I'm using Pro Tools because Pro Tools I have some other ones I like to use. Uh, Pro Tools is, just seems to have a certain sound when you're finishing your mix compared to um, say Ableton. I don't know what it is. It's just I think it's just their designs and their programming just allows certain different kind of finished tonalities within the music. But maybe that's just me. Um, yeah, so. You can change all your bands here, you can make them all active, you can bring them up and down, correct your phase there as well here, you can reverse, uh, invert your phase. It's not reverse phase, it's inverting phase. Uh, you cannot reverse phase because phase is based on a time, um, so you cannot reverse time. Okay, You can invert phase because phase is about two waves of being out of time, so you can flip one and it then matches the other and you can shift them along but you cannot reverse phase because phase is time just for the point of notice because there's a lot of I hear a lot of people say certain things and it's like you, you are not reversing phase you are inverting phase uh, so that's the EQ now this one here this is Waves Tune this is what Waves Tune looks like and you would also have a uh, auxiliary channel that you connect with and you put on your Waves Rewire uh, on the um, on the other channel and then you can just hide that link it to this and it runs okay I see rewire link cannot be established please check your settings okay if you want to know how to work the uh, rewire and waves tune together it's on the waves website you can just go to waves tune and there's videos there tells you how to do it or you can go to um, YouTube and just find someone's video on there it's actually pretty easy to use once you do that you then um, would have uh, an audio wave, <clears throat> say it's someone's voice, okay, it's, I usually use it just for vocals, sometimes, um, you know, get people that are sometimes just don't mean to be, but they're just a little off key here and there, and you can go in and just play with it, and as you play, you just hit play, it runs over, as you can see there, but my rewire is not attached, um, it'll run over the wave, and the wave from here will be printed onto this screen, and there'll be little orange blocks, which is this one here, and there'll be a wave inside that block, and you can actually redraw, so you just would highlight that particular segment, just might need to scroll up or down to find the actual area that you're working in. Um, you would highlight that area, and you can just sort of move these boxes when they're there, you can just move them up, basically uh, each semitone, and then you can redraw, with your pencil, you can just redraw in uh, the curvature of the wave so it doesn't sound so... Uh, if you move one block up, it can make it quite sharp, depending on how it is, uh, and it'll just go, uh, you can get rid of that just by just redrawing the actual curvature of the wave in, and you'll get a smoother move uh, of that vocal. I've done it quite a bit. You get used to it. Um, this one here as well, um, you can highlight that, and there'll be a wave there, etc., etc. Yeah? And then you can also, uh, once you have your wave here, you can switch on your, your natural and make it sound natural and attack and change how much it's, the effect is going to have. You can also put in your synth and your waveform. Okay? Um, and I use this just a little bit. I keep it on the sine wave there and I can reduce the amount. And you can actually change a little bit of what they call the, the formants in it um, in, in any kind of audio or vocal and it just gives a little bit of a change. Uh, I mean it's vibrato there so you can increase vibrato um, that's what that is there, sorry. Uh, and so what it does is you can put that little bit of natural vibrato in someone's voice and it will change uh, some of the characteristics of their pitch as well. So just be aware of that if you do it too hard. So that's that one. And th trust me, this is a really, really... If you're a student doing audio and you want to buy this, get it. it is a, like, it's a really good pitch correction thing. You can make it sound very natural without noticing that there's... Um, pitch correction in there, okay? Um, the next one is my favorite, okay? And I usually use this in mastering a lot or at the end of a really good mix. And essentially what it does, you can reduce the amount of uh, gain, okay? But here's the, the kicker, right? This is really good. You can actually get this and bring it right out and spread your mix out. So if you've got a really good acoustic mix, um, a lot of instruments, uh, acoustic instruments and things in a good hall or if you've recorded them in 
maybe you've recorded them in, in a, um, a bit of a flatter sounding, smaller room, you can actually use this to expand that stereo width and just give it, push it right out. Um, there is this one, I don't use this a lot, but it's called Symmetry and it's kind of trying to balance the, uh, the overall stereo mix and field. Uh, you can rotate it as well, okay? So it's really versatile, giving you a lot of... Um, yeah, let's just put it back here. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's balance up. There we are. Okay. You also have an MS mode, okay? And MS meter over here as well. All right, so your input and output. So if you've recorded something in mid-side, you can actually put it on mid-side uh, and you'll get a better quality of, of, of that mix uh, and be able to control it better. Um, this is really worth it. It's really good. I use it on mastering. It just gives a bit of expansion. It sounds really good. Um, another one, this is CLA bass. I also have CLA guitars. I'll share this. So we go down here in your menu. Here's the effects. And the CLA stuff is in here. Okay, so CLA guitars, uh, CLA bass. Okay. Now this one here is, it, it really gives um, the bass, uh, uh, can really give it a nice punchy, bouncy sound. These, these Fish Lord Algae ones I think are really good. They can sound really kick-ass, um, really fatten up your, uh, your bass mix and stuff like that. It makes it sound really good. Um, I, I, I reckon these ones are really good by these Chris Lord Algae um, tunes there. So that's pretty much it. I do have a couple of other ones. I have some phase. I have some uh, there's convolution reverb. If you want to see a convolution reverb, let's have a look. So let's go to reverb here, and there's IR. Uh, so, we got. so there's your convolution reverb, lots of setups. Lots of changes you can make, pretty much characterize it any way you want. And always remember, if you're doing um, reverb, uh, go back and consider the, um, what was it, the Abbey Road uh, EQ that we did, that we looked at. Um, so if you're using this, that'll give it even more character. This one's pretty good, but as you can see, the interface is a little bit old. Um, so it, can, it, it might not be that appealing for some people. Uh, still a good reverb, still a good plug-in though, uh, can really help. Uh, what else we got? Here's your true verb. So this one's a little bit different again, I think this one's really good. It's a little bit stronger in um, in your effect, especially on the reflections here. Um, and these are your tails, okay? And here, are, these ones here, uh, are your immediate reflection or early reflections, okay? So you're looking at early reflections here and your tail reflection time um, in milliseconds, of course. Uh, and you can really change this all around. You can also kind of um, change the frequency response here. So it's, a, uh, I don't know if it's EQ, but I suppose you could call it that. Uh, it, it is because it's working in frequencies, uh, 16K down to uh, 62. So it's increasing a lot of that low end within the reverb um, so if you're doing a lot of the big hits if you're making some um, sound for film and you've got some big hits in that you can actually increase this a little bit and roll off on your um, higher ones you can make it sharper or lower uh, increase it there as well okay so it's, it's they're, they're pretty um, pretty diverse I think they're, I think they work really good um, I think that True Reverb actually is really good on some kind of quieter guitars and stuff like that as well. Look, this is getting a little bit long. I've given you a good review of uh, Waves. I hope this helps. Um, please subscribe to my channel, share it around, um, rate it, do whatever you like. It's great. Thanks for coming, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.